Good afternoon and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Focus ST Line Vignali walk around video. But before we get stuck into the walk around, if you are enjoying our content, we'd like to see some more in the future, then can I recommend clicking that subscribe button and that way you're in tune with all of our latest content. So this rather gorgeous vehicle is a Ford Focus ST Line Vignali MHEV. So that is a mild hybrid electrical vehicle. So what that means for you is there's no plugging in, there's no waiting for it to charge. You just simply jump in it, drive it like any other vehicle, and get some very competitive MPG out the back of it. Which is partly thanks to the 1 litre EcoBoost engine producing 155 PS of power. That 155 PS of power is then transmitted through the front wheels through a six-speed manual gearbox. This Focus is registered on a 72 registration, meaning we're taking Ford warranty with us until December 2025. The vehicle itself is on just over 14,500 miles, but like always, I'll get the exact number once on the dash in a moment. So, like all our videos here at Perkins, we're going to arrive at the near side front bumper. And this is where I'll present to you the remote central locking key in all of its beauty. Clicking the unlock button in turn is going to wake up the daytime running lamps. And they could be flashing in your video, but that is simply because the frequency in which my camera records at. So daytime running lamps give you the ultimate, or give other road users, the ultimate visibility, making sure you're always going to be seen on the road. Inside those headlamps are some lovely LED adaptive headlights and just below we can start to see our front parking sensors which make themselves across that front lip of the bumper. This vehicle has a driver assistance pack so that little dully bit underneath the number plate there is a front facing radar. I'll go into more detail in that once we're on inside the vehicle. Next up on this little walk around is these beautiful 18 inch machine cut alloy wheels. The machine cut alloys give you the silver shiny face at the front and with a painted colour in the middle so they are matching magnetic grey. The ST line also comes with the red painted brake calipers which look absolutely fantastic in that contrast of colour. Tyres fitted to this one are the Michelin Primacy 4 tyres and I've left them ajar and they're in pretty good nick. Moving our attention back up to the windscreen because that there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is a light sensor. So as the sun goes down and the moon comes up or it just gets awfully cloudy and dark like it is now, your lights will come on automatically. Further north at the top of the windscreen there are two more that you probably can't see because of the reflection of the tree, but there is a traffic speed zone recognition camera which uh, can be used in coordination with the intelligent speed limiter. And equally there, there is a rain sensor for the rain sensing wipers. Bring your attention back down to the vehicle. Locking the vehicle on the key like so, taking it back to half zoom, hello, hello. On the door handle we have five lines, which means we've got keyless entry. Tap behind the handle, unlocks, tap on those five lines, locks the vehicle. As you can see for yourself, we have power folding and heated door mirrors. So this is a stage of the video, I'll take a step back and show you around the rear privacy glass and also get nice and tight to the offside rear body. Just gently work the camera side to side, shimmying on down hopefully displaying just how beautiful all of those body panels are. Wonderful. It's a really pretty car, this one. Now we can link that back round to the offside rear and give you a good look at that. And these alloys are lovely. Look at those. And we're going to start to make our way around the rear bumper now. I'm just hoping that rain is going to hold out for another couple of minutes just before we get inside. So there is the rear of the vehicle, rear, rear parking sensors in this one as well, with a nice rear dual exhaust system. So we're going to give the near side the exact same treatment, so starting off nice and tight to the body of the vehicle, it's going to work the camera down the near side. Like so. And then we can show you the near side rear wheel in all of its beauty. Now we can follow that all the way down to the near side front. Give you a good look at that. And whilst we're here and the tyres are jar, there we are. Beautiful. Right, so that is the exterior. Let's have a look inside, shall we? So we can have a double click the boot function that opens it, or we have the pressure pad just in the middle, just under C. And that opens up the very generously volume rear boot space on this Focus. Um, I also might have an ST line focus myself and I can speak from experience it's a fantastic boot size whether it's uh, push chairs or wheelchairs or 
sports equipment, two baby lions, anything you need to get in there, you've got perfect amount of space. And it's a very clever use of space as well because underneath this liner here, we have the Bang & Olsen B&O sound systems, that's the amp, and then we have the sub that sits inside the spare wheel, which is very clever indeed. All the spare wheel tools and jacks are supplied underneath to keep you going in the right direction. And we also have one of those ski hatches, so if you did have longer items to load into the vehicle, that is again easily achievable. Moving ourselves around now to the offside rear door, and this is where we start to show you a bit of the interior, which is beautiful. So hard wearing plastic on the door card leading into a soft touch leather, and we have a corresponding window control and a corresponding door card. Now again, it looks like Armageddon outside, so I don't know how light it's going to look inside here. But hopefully my camera should do a bit of work. So these are the, uh, for the first time, let's spin that camera around for the seat. So there we have the beautiful ebony leather. And it comes with a two-colour stitching, so it's white and red. They're perforated in the lower back and the base part of the seat. It's going to be very comfortable, very durable, and hopefully going to last you the test of time. Those are ISO-fixing seats. If you did have to carry the smaller humans of this world, you have two ISO fixing opportunities. Down at the bottom there, we do have the Focus ST line mats in there already, so one less thing to worry about after purchase. And down there as well is a nice 12 volt socket, keeping passengers nicely charged up. So onwards into the driver's door now. I think I've made it into shelter before it rains, so thank you very much for your patience. Okay, it's gorgeous carbon fibres trim there, leading into your soft touch leather and your leather armrest. Into the four window controls, mirror folding, rear, uh, rear window locking, mirror adjustments and interior locking. For the last time in this video, this is now the driver's and passenger seat. So again, a beautiful leather, which is in a marvellous condition perforate in the lower back and base part of the seat. The driver's seat is electronically adjustable, so if you'd like to count with me, one and two is your forward and backwards, your three and your four is your height adjustment, five and your six is your rear tilt, and your seven and eight is your lumbar support. So, a perfectly comfortable and nice to have the electronic controls as well. Now I'm just gonna jump inside the vehicle, you may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone, so please just bear with me for a moment. I have incredibly long legs, so let me just pop that seat back a little bit. There we are. All right. So, look at this. This is the beautiful digital driver display. I said the mileage was just over 14,000, and that is the case at 14,596.4. So, to complement the keyless entry, we have an engine start stop button, which the dash looks so amazing. I'm going to leave the camera there. So, it defaults into normal drive mode like you can see at the moment in that dark blue screen. So let's give you a quick tour around of what we're looking at. The left hand side there is a coolant temperature sensor followed by a digital speedo. And at the bottom there is the odometer for the mileage, ambient air temperature which it feels a lot colder than 10 degrees. Then we have the digital readout for the fuel gauge and the bar graph on the furthest right. Next up is the RPM times 1000 counting the revolutions of the crankshaft also known as the output power. In the middle we have that selectable menu that we can control using the return, OK up and down and menu button on the right hand side of the steering wheel. Where you can see things such as a hybrid gauge, a live fuel, uh, tyre pressures, beg your pardon. Click on the menu button and then go to select screens. Well, I believe you can select up to seven screens on there. So all of the above that you can currently see you can have um, popped up in front of you. But you can also see your audio, your navigation, phone connectivity. And also we have your settings in there, such as tire pressures, or uh, local hazard information, and oil life. Uh, next up is display settings, where you can adjust things such as kilometers an hour, tachometer, and also the eco coach. Marvelous. So coming down, that's that is that. We do have a selectable drive mode button. So uh, I'll show you what that is in a second. But for now, if I was just to put it into sport mode, wow! So it turns it into a, a dully grey. Um, with red accents to show you the sportier intent, if you like. So, I think it's a really nice touch on these digital driver displays. So, once again, I'm just going to pop my chair back a little bit so you can actually see the buttons and not just my knees. Okay, so the right hand side again, those arrows I was controlling the screen with. We have the voice command button, pick up, decline, and previous and next song function. To the left hand side of the steering wheel is the buttons for the cruise control. So left is your cancel set speed is in the middle we have standby top right speed limiter bottom right and at the bottom of that cluster we have volume minus plus and also a mute button 
Moving across now into the central reservation of this vehicle. Nice little cubby hole in there for your sweets. Pull back this cover here, then we have the beautiful divider system for your, your drinks, whether it's one can, two cans, McDonald's cup, big bottle, little bottle. It's so nice to be able to just clamp your cup in position that you need it. Someone might have a very similar system in their vehicle. Here is the electronic parking brake. Pull up to apply, push down to cancel. Although when it is applied and you do try to set off, it will automatically cancel for you. Next up is auto hold, like a temporary handbrake if you like. Now into the controls for the six-speed manual gearbox. A fantastic gearbox. It flies through just lovely. Very responsive, but it's like a you know, it's a nice travel there as well. And obviously, when you slide your armrest forward, then it gives you the ability to rest your elbow as well, which I find particularly comfortable when you're sitting in traffic. In the little cubby hole down there is a wireless phone charger, so if your mobile telephone device supports wireless charging, then happy days, because you can wirelessly charge it. If not, don't worry, we have a USB-C, a USB-A, and also a 12-volt socket there as well, so that's going to keep things nicely charged up. Going forward, we have done away with all the controls for the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Don't need the buttons anymore. So you get a volume rocker, you have the mode button, followed by max demist, automated stop-start, parking, and this is your engine start stop button because we now have this beautiful sync 4a module so this is uh, the new touch screen for ford so if you haven't seen this before i'm going to give you a quick tour round so let's start off with the heating ventilation and air conditioning first off all the controls are along this black band at the bottom so heated seats are on either end like so which are three-way adjustable so if you do stuff with a cold bottom it's your lucky day this vehicle also has the dual zone climate, so both sides of the cabin can be set to individual temperatures. So it's fantastic, once again, if you do have a very cold passenger and needs to keep warm, you can then distinguish the two temperatures and heated seats. We have air conditioning, we have rear demist, front electronically heated windscreen, and um, how do you change the flows events? Click that button there, the screen pops up, then you can adjust between uh, screen, face, and feet. Dual, max, demist and max air conditioning with recirculation there as well and after a while let's see if i timed it right that will then just go back down again oh so close so close one day uh, so that is effectively the heating ventilation and air conditioning with your heater steering wheel down the bottom there as well nearly forgot okay so apart from that the navigation is found to the left hand side of the screen it gives you this lovely wide view and it's a fantastically responsive system it's like it's like your phone you pinch to zoom and all that malarkey quick demonstration of how it all works once you're on your home page click where to once the keyboard is loaded you click on that again if you'd like to come to perkins to look at this focus you need to click charlie mike 77 6 sierra alpha click the search bar and hey presto that navigates your route straight to perkins in no time at all also not click start because well i'm here already click the home button once more and let's now take you through audio. We keep audio off because I don't want any copyright infringements. So different sources such as FM, DAB and Bluetooth audio. Come back out of there. Let's go home once again and let's go phone connectivity. So this is your Bluetooth phone connectivity. Anyone's iPhone? Hello, that's me. I've just connected my phone to take some beautiful photos of Apple CarPlay. Yes, I will delete that in just a second. Let's take you over to settings now. We've got loads of settings on here as well. So you can see all your radio, your phone list, BLO, all that malarkey. But this is an interesting thing, Amazon Alexa. So you've got Alexa built into this focus. There we are. Uh, take you now to features where you get these three tiles. Drive modes on the left hand side. So we have a normal, we have an eco and a sport drive mode there for good measure. Coming out once again, we can then go into driver assistance. So this is the driver assistance pack on this vehicle which includes the auto stop start we have the rolling start stop speed threshold traction control speed limiter lane keeping system pre collision assist and speed sign recognition so tons of wonderful driver assistance to keep you nice and safe so that pre collision assist links to that radar that i showed you previously coming out of there now we also have the interactive owner's manual so gone are the big books that take you half hour to try and find the information you need simply type it in you can even bookmark what you're looking at as well so you can find it again later on nice and easily uh, and then we can go into apps furthest right so like you'd expect apple carplay android auto two of the most important things on any 
vehicle software these days. Um, you tend to find people either have an iPhone or an Android. So connect your phone via the USB port or take advantage of the wireless CarPlay if you're on Apple. And so, yeah, it will mirror your phone onto this screen here. So there's many advantages, but mainly you're keeping your hands off your phone whilst you're driving. Use technology such as the voice command button on the right-hand side of the steering wheel to activate the voice assistant on your mobile. So for myself, I'm Apple, so I get Siri. And Siri, I can ask to do well whatever I like, really, whether it's take me to Tesco's, play music, or what's the West Ham score, or anything you like, but whilst you're driving along and you don't have to touch your phone at all. It is rather magic. And uh, there's also other little goodies on there. So for whatever reason you didn't like the Ford navigation, I won't be offended, I didn't design it myself, that's fine. Uh, but you also get the Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, they're all compatible on this screen here. So you could really use your preference. So that is a very, very quick guide around this lovely sync module. Just gonna show you the rear part pilot, because when you put it in reverse, you get a proximity to beer. So this will give you a nice color band around the outside and also give you the intermittent beep. That'll increase in frequency as you get closer to the object in question. That there is this Focus ST Vignali in a nutshell in about 16 minutes or so. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you did find it useful. If you did need any information about this vehicle or any other vehicle here at Perkins Garages, pick up the phone 01376 550 899. Thanks for watching. Like the video, leave a nice comment below, and don't forget to subscribe, and you'll be seeing a lot more of me in the future. Thanks for now. Bye bye.